got it. You got it. You did. That was so difficult. That was so difficult. I could barely get my hand on it. There's, there, there, there's no camera here. It's fine. Guys, this is Toenail 33 behind the scenes debrief. That was amazingly stressful. I, I, I just want to clear, clear something up here. I did not have loose toenail clippers on the ride. That would be extremely injured. Additionally, my GoPro is on my wrist mount, as you can clearly see. My clipper was attached to a lanyard, which is duct taped to the interior of my jacket pocket. Thusly, even if I drop this, it doesn't go flying off. So my GoPro and my Clipper were both attached to me. It was not a loose item. Yeah. You have anything to add? It's just, it's a Hermetic Rock content summer. Multiple uploads every week. And Lager is bringing you the best content. Yeah. All right, so you guys might also be wondering why I moved the GoPro under my leg at random times. That's because uh, GoPros are not allowed. We were explicitly told this. Uh, while I was trying to bring it on, so uh, it had to be a little bit hidden. That's why it was in my pocket before the video started. And that's why I had to hide it for the two cameras on the uphill section. And uh, then I brought it out, then I put it back for the one camera for the photo camera. Uh, so I had to make sure it was hidden for all three cameras. We did a recon run on the coaster uh, beforehand to scope all this out. We also did notice that they will stop the uh, uphill clack, clack, clack if they see someone messing around, which we did also observe. Um, anything else? I think that's about it. Uh, Is that okay with you? I don't know, you can talk about like the challenges that oh. we had a little bit more and what you had to oh, uh, man, yeah. do while sitting down. Look, in order to get that clipper, we had so many, look, I had a clipper back to back with another clipper. I wanted to do the full carve on the uphill section, but we just had to compromise. There's just not enough time to get out the GoPro, hide from both cameras, and, uh, you know, do both kinds of clip because what, 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 what some of you in my audience might not quite realize or appreciate is that in order to do a proper toenail corner carve, you need two kinds of clippers. One that's concave and one that's convex, you know, like a one that curves in at the edges versus one that curves out at, at the edges. You may have noticed that while on the coaster, I used one that curves in at the edges, which is rare. That's not probably not how your clippers look. People don't appreciate the art form. Right, like there's, there's like a lot of work that goes into these things. This is probably the first video where all y'all in my audience can finally appreciate what I do for you, you know? Um, in this one, we, we did have to make a compromise, which was carving with the concave clippers out in the line outside the ride. That's because those two clips are critical because they define the shape of the corner. Um, I know it's a little bit disappointing that the clips that I did while going up the coaster were non-critical. They didn't actually contribute to the corner. They just let me get, get at it better. But I just felt like it was right. You know, like I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing, you know? Um, so yeah. Check this out, right? Then, I'll get rid of this on the coaster, and you know what? Now I only need one clipper. Is that right? Yeah. Look at how much simpler this gets. Yeah. Only one clipper. Guys, there was so much more to this that I forgot to mention in the debrief at the park. So much planning went into this. I watched so many POV videos of this ride and others at the park to choose the right coaster. Uh, some were instantly disqualified, such as the ones that have over-the-shoulder uh, over restraints, like Patriot Flight Deck, because uh, those would prevent me from reaching my toes at all. Uh, but the others took a lot more thought to weigh the pros and cons. Um, 
After our first test ride, when I was told that I couldn't bring on my GoPro, we regrouped and planned and uh, wrote it again only when that ride operator went on break. Uh, so there'd be less attention focused specifically on us and whether we were trying to bring on our uh, disallowed GoPro. Um, uh, when sitting down, I had to have my jacket tied around my waist and then arranged uh, forwards in a manner where I could reach uh, both of the zipped up pockets uh, around the ride restraints. Um, I practiced my speed at getting the GoPro out of my pocket, getting my wrist through the strap, velcroing the strap in place tightly. Uh, and Herm, uh, he uh, sat uh, on my right so that he could uh, lean forward and backward at the right times to cover my clipping action from the two uphill cameras. Um, I think that's about it though. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the first toenail video ever filmed on a roller coaster, Toenail 33. I really put a lot of, a lot of effort into this. Uh, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe.